Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Wednesday, everybody. On this 10th of April, how's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good to see you, Eric. Good to see you, Brian, Tim. Greetings, Tim. Andrea, how's everything going? Lawrence, Mike, everyone. All right, guys, let's get ready to rock and roll. Uh, you know, you're getting a couple of earnings already started coming out. We saw what happened with I think, uh, Delta Airlines basically coming out, and you can see you got a little bit of a uh, little jet blue moving. But we're going to check out some of the stocks. But before we do that, everybody, uh, let's just talk about what happened yesterday because we had a pretty decent day. Uh, it all starts off. Uh, let me just fix this chart right here on this one here. We had a nice little move with the ATAI. You know, I, I, I was on um, I was on uh, Trade Station yesterday. You know, I do it every Tuesday. So I'm on their morning briefing, just like we do here every day, but I'm not on theirs every Tuesday. And I tell you, I didn't really find that much that was going going on out there. And I, and I told everybody, listen, you know, the big thing I I noticed that's happening right now is that earnings are going to really start kicking in next week. And not only that, guys, you know, but you know what next week is? One of the biggest, um, one of the biggest holidays of the year for Catholics. It's, it's Easter. And then you have Greek Easter. So a lot of, all the kids are off. You got spring break that's going on. So, you know, it, this is and – then, and also it's even bigger than that. You got taxes season that's due, right, next week. So a, a lot of stuff going on. And I tell you – this time of the year, you know, going into especially tax season is a very, very tricky, quiet type of market. Not a lot of people like to come out with um, with news going out before tax season. And, you know, they got they got other important things to worry about. I mean, I know it's not corporate tax. I know it's personal taxes here in the United States. But let me tell you, it's, I always find it a little on the slow side. And not only that, but I also find people start selling stocks more than buying stocks because they have they probably need cash to pay some of their taxes. But um but that's basically what you're seeing a little bit of a slowdown going into April. This is perfectly normal, you know, and this is the greatest thing about learning how to, you know, being here every day because every day not only in class I mentions a new adventure, but you know, if you do your journals the way we train you and you learn you know, and you backtrack and see why you made money this day. Why'd you lose money on that day? Why nothing going on this day? It is a consistent pattern, you know, and that's the thing you got to look at it. But there are a couple of things that are moving. But anyway, just want to, you know, let, let's just cover what we did have yesterday. It did move. We had a couple of them. We had this one. You had uh, U.S. Steel. Wait for it to come up. There we go. Uh, U.S. Steel was a nice little short, taking a massive hit, actually. But it's at, it's at major support levels right here, so might might get a little bit of a comeback. And uh, AMRS, another one, you know, but not huge winners. I mean, not like, you know, ridiculous pops, you know. So there was a couple of here and there, you know, I, I called yesterday, and you hear me joke around with it, but you hear me, you hear me say, you know, it's a nickels and dimes day, you know, and that's really what it was. Remember, not every day, you know, you're going to come out there. Yeah, it's not like ATAI, exactly. Not every day you're going to get, oops, typed in the wrong window. You're not going to always get a, uh, a home run every day. You're not going to always get these 200, 300% movers. But, you know, listen, you only need one. And you know what? If you missed it, don't worry about it. Tomorrow's another day. You got to look at it. But, uh, but let's go through the watch list. And what I found this morning, because there are a couple of stocks that are moving this morning. First of all, a ATAI is going back on the list again. You know, um, it gapped up again this morning. It's up about 22%. It's at, uh, what is that? Uh, a cheap little stock. You know, it, you got some resistance levels right around here. You know, you can see it right there. I'm pointing up. You got some good volume. You got good movement, 1.2 million shares. That looks like a pretty interesting stock. We'll put that on the watch list. FT. S S F E T, you know, I, this one also, you know, it's gapped up stock. Um, I don't know if this was really true, but $70. I mean, I don't know if <laughs> it's that even down to $2 anyway, uh, up 16%, up a $90, $1.92 got good volume, but she's down trending. So I don't know what this is all about. Nice move. You know, let's see if she holds here. But I, I, I found it this morning around 7 o'clock, and I thought maybe, just maybe, but I don't know. Not really, uh, let's see, uh, not really a big mover as of right now. I don't like things that are trending down. 
going into the open. Um, how about Levi's, huh? Levi's, uh, a new IPO came out, took a big hit like everything else, and she gapped up yesterday, big time actually. Some, I don't know, did somebody go out there and buy it or something? But look at that, she's uh, she's back into 23. She's getting close to its highs, took a nice little hit there. But remember what I told you about um, I'm short Levi's? <laughs> you mean you bought the Levi's and you cut the, you made them into shorts? <laughs> But uh, but Levi's right now you got you got a nice little move here. We'll see what happens. You know, if it breaks resistance level around fourteen, could be a nice little push. Levi's had good earnings. Really, they already they had good earnings already. I didn't even know that. I mean, usually it's already been now. They had earnings. Usually, it takes earnings after three months. I mean, I could be wrong, but usually when a company goes public, they do quarterly. You know, so um, is that it was yesterday. That's interesting. Never really see that. That's why we're a team, right, Ron? But usually companies, when they, when they come out with our earnings, it's usually quarterly. And I thought it was just pretty premature to actually come out with earnings. But if they did, that's great news. You know. Anyway, let's keep an eye on that one. I-N-E-X. Another one uh, popped up on my radar. I know some of you guys were talking about this morning. She's moving pretty nicely now. She got a couple of little nasty shakes. You bring up a short uh, things out there. Nice little cheap stock. Got some. Uh, it's got some volume here, so you just got to be a little careful with it. You know, uh, up about fifty percent, almost a million shares. Great iceberg orders all over the place. So this is a nice little cheapy. AVGR, and that's not the abbreviation is Avengers, uh, but uh, <laughs> close to it, almost a movie. But uh, Disney actually owns that. Stock's got a nice little pop, nice, cheap little stock, good spread. Unbelievable iceberg orders out there all over the place. So this kind of, I'm a little skeptical to trade a stock like this. You know, you got those big orders everywhere, so it's kind of hard to kind of judge where to get and where to get out. A little bit, uh, but it's, it's a good beginner stock. You know, if you're, if you're a beginner, this might be up your alley. HSDT, another one I found this morning that's moving. This stock is getting destroyed, just hammered. Look at this thing, down 60%. I just, what, what kind of throws me off about this stock, how's the stock down 60% only traded 44,000 shares? You know, is this like a reverse stock split or something? I mean, it doesn't really make sense to me, but you know me, I, lo I love bottom fishing, so I want to keep an eye on that one. Could be a, uh, could be a sleeper. OTLK, another one. Getting hammered right now. Great mover. Stock was ten dollars. Look at that. This this stock right here is a classic, ex, a classic um, explanation of why you need to learn how to day trade. Why is that? Because what happens over the course of the day will trickle into a swing trade. And if you look at this stock right here, if you if you if you you know, if you saw it when it was at seven and it dropped down to six and you wake up the next day and it's down to five and just breaking lower lows and now you're at three and guess what? Now you're at a dollar eighty. What do you do? There's no 911 phone call, you know, and, and there's no crystal ball to go back in the in past. You know, this is it. You got to know how and why the day trip because look at those orders, guys. Look at that. You got 11,000 share order out there on the matrix uh, on level three. Look at that. Ready to dump. You got 10,000 share buyer here. I mean, this thing's taking a real major hit. Uh, I mean, the only thing that could help it if it holds its support levels, you can see this candle, this bar right here. We won't see what happens, but you could probably get a good bottom fisher out of this one. But, uh, but this is a really good lesson a lot of you guys should learn. <laughs> Why you got to learn how to day trade uh, before you go out there and swing trade or even consider trading options. All right. Ben's already up about 16 cents on that one. All right. Let's give him a round of applause. Plugging away, Ben. All right, everyone. So those are our stocks on the watch list. Not listen, not a great list. We got some good, you know, stocks are taking some better hits than longs. But uh, just be careful. Once again, kids are off from school. Uh, you got Easter around the corner. You got tax season uh, on Monday. You got earnings that are coming out. So you're not going to get a lot. So just do yourself a favor. Focus on nickels and dimes. Okay, not dollars and two dollar moves. I mean, listen. You make your own luck being in the right place at the right time, but th let's not try to try to hit home runs, you know. But listen, I've been wrong. <laughs> Sometimes something comes out of the blue right out of the gate. 
like ATAI did yesterday. But uh, if everyone sees something, say something. And hopefully everybody here that is new for here for CTU um, that have been doing their trials, hope you guys have been enjoying it. Just be very, um, hopefully, just remember everybody, this is a trading room, not a teaching room. And if you like what's going on, uh, you know, let us know if you want to learn how to do it as, as, a, as a business. All right? And we'll tell you how to get started. In the meantime, good luck, everyone. We'll see you back at 2.30.